again. Together we devised this idea of having a yield enhancement network, which we've been running now for two years. This is our third year. So we're look, sort of looking forward to increasing the engagement with the yield enhancement network. Very pleased with this meeting. It's the first time we've got a whole group of farmers explicitly interested in yield. They're not at the meeting for any other reason and all willing to share some of their ideas on how they might grow bigger crops. Today we've been talking about using uh, light and, and water more efficiently uh, with a particular focus on nitrogen use, uh, fungicide use and soil management. What I like about Yen is that it, it uh, puts some structure into what we're doing. Um, so it makes us record yields better, it makes us make conscious decisions and probably push the boundaries. So for me, what am I doing differently? I'm probably using slightly more textbook stuff to increase or decrease whatever inputs I might be using. And also I'm trying to be slightly better behaved in certain fields to perhaps get closer to what my theoretical potential yield could be. Well, it's great to uh, get all the feedback. Uh, I, I know it's uh, friendly competition and it's great fun to win it and you know nobody can stay at the top forever but at least you get to see everybody else's ideas and it gives you a, a new platform to, to look at your home yields uh, to take things further forward. The yen will take me to the next level of farming. Um, I think my yields have plateaued. I've done as much as I can with other right. input from other farmers and other experts. The most useful thing today I've picked up is the usage of N, solar yield potentials, moisture throughout the growing season. This year for Yen, um, in partnership with Hutchinson's, then uh, we're trying a few different techniques of trying to push yield. We've looked at sowing rates, uh, we've looked at early fungicide applications, we're looking at sulphur, potash applications and timing, um, and also we're looking at more novel micronutrients. So there's a, a range of things that I guess if I hadn't been involved in Yen, I perhaps wouldn't have looked at. What I'll take away from today is uh, the renewed importance of rooting, especially rooting depth, and look at ways that we can manipulate that. I'm definitely going to go and, and look into rooting. We'll be including uh, more applications of K during the rapid growth period, uh, possibly inclusions of strobes, um, which we've gone away from at T3, which I think probably need to be revisited in order to aid the, uh, the crop to remain greener at the end. Mine will be more aiming at keeping canopies greener, uh, and the crop as long as I possibly can, which is where the K idea comes from. At the moment, I've nothing left in the tank of increasing the root structure to what we're already doing. Combined with the N at the moment and ADAS, we're just looking at um, what we're sort of terming as soil fracking, but it's uh, soil aeration down to about a metre and a half. It's not in a commercial way, but it's a way of measuring can improve soil aeration, improve yields. I've had an excellent response this year. Uh, I've been really pleased. Uh, it, it, does seem to be a project that's picking up quite a lot of momentum. Farmers seem to be very enthusiastic and interested to be engaged with it and already we've doubled the number of applicants that are taking part compared with last year. So that's very pleasing and I think it's indicative of the interest that, that farmers have in the project.